welcome dear students to computer studies standard 11th english medium chapter number 1 introduction to multimedia part 3 watch the video from the starting till the end to understand all the concepts in the last video we had completed the multimedia element text in this video i am going to teach you about the next multimedia element that is audio but before we begin if you are new on my channel and haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel and continue watching the video this channel is going to be helpful to you in standard 11th as well as standard 12th so the topic is multimedia element audio in that the first thing is about the sound now sound is the most important element in multimedia to explain you the importance of sound i will give you few examples first example is if you are watching a horror movie without the sound then how it would be it would be like a funny movie you will not at all get frightened by any of the scenes why because most of the effects are given with the help of the element sound second example of the absence of sound is if you are watching a dance performance or any movie song you just do one thing you mute that uh, Uh, mute your mobile or your television or whatever where you are watching the song and then see how that song looks right then you will be able to realize the importance of sound another thing is the quality of the sound also plays a very important role for example if you are watching a movie in the theater where there are so many devices for the best quality of sound output dolby sound system and you are watching the same movie at your home in your mobile phone then which would be better which would create a better impact on your mind the theater one or the movie which you are using in your uh, viewing in your mobile phone right so the sound quality also does matters many of the singers on youtube say that you listen to this song but you listen to the song wearing the hands free then it will give the best effect so we can come to know that the sound quality also plays a very important role we can define sound as a meaningful speech in any language verbally when we want to explain anything we ha- uh, we explain with the help of the language right then the next thing is the term sound is used in the analog form and the digitalized form of the sound is called audio now see text and images without any sound are helpful only if the presenter is present what does this statement mean it means i will explain you with the help of an example for example if a motivational speaker or any speaker has come to address to a large mass of audience then he would come with a powerpoint presentation and along with his speech the presentation would uh, go on on the projector screen am i right now if that presenter is present then in the powerpoint presentation there is no need to add any sound but in his absence the pre recorded sound plays an important role if he is not going to be present then he will have to record all the audio clips and play the presentation same way while watching an educational cd sound is very helpful if you are watching an educational cd without the sound then hardly you will be able to understand anything in the part 1 video of this chapter you were taught that multimedia is the combination of five different multimedia element and in the second part video you were taught how to create the text element and how to insert it in the multimedia right 
now here we are discussing about the multimedia element audio so how to record the audio and how to insert it that is our topic right now nowadays computers comes with full multimedia support for example if we want to prepare an educational cd or software we need to record the voice and insert that audio clip into it at present through the video lecture on youtube that is this video lecture whatever i am explaining i am doing the same thing i am preparing the presentation in the computer and inserting or recording the sound clips in my mobile phone and then attaching both the things and preparing the complete video so for this thing first thing what we have to do is we need to record a sound clip now generally we all know that recording is done using our smartphone but our book people somehow have explained you how to record a sound clip using your computer now see we all know that in our practical life we are always going to record the voice clip using our smartphones only but since we also have to answer the exams of 11th standard that is why it is necessary for me to teach you what is given in the textbook and say on the other side you also have to learn what is given in the textbook so now i will teach you about how to record the sound clip in your computer now to record a sound clip using your pc or your laptop first we need to attach a mic and then use the built in audio recording application that is program in the textbook it is explained how to record a sound in ubuntu linux now what is ubuntu linux ubuntu linux is the name of an operating system so let's see here the desktop which is displayed is of another operating system named ubuntu linux we all are familiar with the operating system of windows we may be using any version of windows it could be windows 7 windows 8 or windows 10 but unfortunately your textbook is designed using this operating system now to record the sound in this application in this uh, operating system you have to click on application menu now before you click anywhere or before you try to understand anything i'll just explain you the desktop of ubuntu linux in windows we have got start menu on the left hand side bottom while here the start menu is divided into three parts that is applications places and system on and it is located on the upper panel or on the top panel so there you have to click on the applications menu from applications menu you have to click on sound and video option from that you will get the option called sound recorder and a dialog box name sound recorder will open the sound recorder program will be like this way as it is displayed here from that you have to click on the file menu or you have to choose the file menu option and from file menu you have to click on new option or else you can click on the plus sign which is given just below the file menu that also is the shortcut of new option then after that use the record as drop down list to select one of the option from the following now here you can see that uh, record as option is given and next to that voice or lossy is uh, given so when you click on the drop down arrow key here then it will display you three options that is cd quality lossless or cd quality lossy or voice so select the appropriate option after selecting the appropriate option from recorders to start the recording you have to click on the 
record button that is red color circular button or the long cut method which is given in the textbook is click on the control menu and select record option after you finish the recording to stop the recording choose on the control menu and select the stop option or press the stop button now next thing is to play back the recording choose the control menu and select the play or straight away click on the play button another thing is to run the audio mixer choose the file menu and select the open volume control after you feel that the recording which you have done is correct then you have to save the file to save the recording choose on the file menu and select the save as option and type a name for the sound file here we get the facility to make changes to this sound file like delete a part of it or change the playback speed or change the playback volume or also you can add the echo effect now in our mobile also nowadays so many applications to record the sound and do all these things are available this all information which is given in the textbook is outdated thing we do not record anything using the computer like this way mostly we use our smartphone another thing multimedia elements like sounds and videos are stored in the media files actually it should be it is stored as media files but here it may be printing mistake now to discover the type of media file we should look at the file extension that means if you have forgotten the file name and whenever you want to search any file then you can uh, straight away in the search option you can type asterisk dot and then the extension of the file for example asterisk dot mp3 then it will display all the mp3 files lying in the pc now here i have used the screenshot from the pdf of the textbook that is why any of the mcq i have not marked in blue color or i haven't underlined the thing but here the whole table is uh, like from that mcqs could be asked so the first column of the table is displaying the file extensions second column is displaying the type of file and third one is displaying description so we look at the first thing dot mid or dot midi both means the same thing the file type is midi file and description is musical instrumental digital interface this file contains musical data second one is dot rm or dot ram means it's a real audio file and the full form of dot ram is real audio metadata it is a combination of audio as well as video so we can consider it as a video file instead of considering it as an audio file third one is dot wav it is a wav file wav form of audio file it was used in olden days mobile whenever we used to record anything through the olden days mobile it was saved with this text this extension next one is dot wma windows media audio file it is audio file compressed with window media compression and the last one is dot mp3 or dot mpga actually it should be the first because it is the most common file format we all which we all are aware of and which we all are using the file type is mp3 audio file it is a compressed audio format dot wav is the most popular uncompressed sound format on the internet and it is supported by almost all the popular browsers then the next one the dot mp3 is the new compressed format 
for recorded music it is most commonly used in songs so if you want to use the recorded music dot mp3 is the best choice so here we complete the second element that is audio here we complete this video if you like the video please hit the like button and we meet in the next video thank you goodbye